guys, this is Haley from WonderRabbits.com and today's video is all about daily rabbit care. The first thing I'm going to talk about is water. Water should always be given 24-7 from a bowl. Drinking from a bowl is much more natural to rabbits as this is how they would drink in the wild. Drinking from a bottle takes a lot more effort for them to get as much liquid as they need and rabbits need a lot of fluid to ensure that their gut is moving properly. I like to make sure that I dump out the old water, rinse it, and refill it twice a day. This just helps keep any hair or debris that might fall into it at the minimum. The next thing is hay. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have unlimited grass hay available for your rabbit 24 seven. Hay is vitally important to keep their gut moving properly and it also helps wear down their ever-growing teeth. I provide hay in these hay boxes right above their litter boxes. This normally holds enough hay for several days but I do like to pull hay to the front of the box about once a day. The next thing is greens. Rabbits need fresh leafy greens on a daily basis. They need one cup of leafy greens for every two pounds of body weight. Leafy greens are different from harder vegetables like carrots. Vegetables like those are considered treats and should only be fed as so. Some leafy greens I like to provide are lettuces, kales, herbs. But if you'd like a further list on what is safe to give to your bunny, I will leave a link in the description down below. Some people do prefer to feed pellets along with their rabbit's diet. However, veterinarians are actually finding out that pellets aren't vital to your rabbit's diet unless they require so for a medical condition. Please speak to your rabbit savvy vet about your rabbit's diet needs. Another thing you can feed is treats. Of course, this is completely optional and not required in a rabbit's diet. Fresh fruit is a great option, as well as 100% dried fruit or dried vegetables like dried carrots. However, please note that rabbits should never have more than one teaspoon of fruit for every two pounds of body weight. I personally feed way less than this as I don't want my rabbits getting too much sweets as that is not good for their digestive tract. Another very important thing for rabbit care is daily exercise. This is vitally important, especially if your rabbit is in a cage, pen, or in a room. Many people disagree on how many hours a rabbit should be out per day, so honestly, I just say let them out as long as possible and for several hours a day. Rabbits are crepuscular, which means they're most active during dawn and dusk. For this reason, I tend to let my rabbits out in the evening as that's when they are most active and when they get the most benefit from their exercise time. If your rabbit is free range, a good thing to get them more excited about exercise is providing new toys like tunnels or hidey houses. And last but not least is attention. Rabbits need attention on a daily basis as they are very social creatures. The type of attention you give your rabbit is gonna be different based on your rabbit's needs and personality. Some of my rabbits love to be pet and will just sit there for hours as you pet them. Other of my rabbits have just wanted a couple quick pets and then they're done. If your rabbit isn't a huge fan of being pet, you can do something called clicker training. Clicker training is a really good bonding exercise. It helps exercise your rabbit, increase the bond between you two, and is also very fun and stimulating for your rabbit. Stick around to the end of this video to see a couple more video suggestions. These videos have more information that may be helpful for you and your rabbit. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more rabbits and rabbit care videos. And I will see you guys soon on a new video. Bye!